Emmerdale spoilers, Graham set for prison after missing vital piece of evidence? In last night's Emmerdale, Debbie Dingle, Charlie Webb, was shot during a scuffle between Ross Barton, Michael Parr, and Joe Tate, Ned Porteous. Ross thought it had been Joe that had paid Simon to throw acid in his face, when he had actually just paid him to stay quiet about Debbie's involvement in the plan. It was confirmed tonight that Debbie was fine and has survived after surgery to remove the bullet. But Joe's right-hand man Graham Foster, Andrew Scarborough, had a plan to put in motion back at the village. He went to see drug dealer Connor, Cameron Jack, and yanked out some of his hair in a seemingly random act of violence. When he returned to home farm he trashed the place to make it look like an armed robbery, as they had planned. Gran then sprinkled the hair around, clearly trying to incriminate the drug dealer who had told Ross about Joe and the payment. Soon though, armed police swarmed the mansion and forced Graham, who re-entered to make it look like just arrived, to the ground but he noticed blood on his sleeve, which would link him to the scene. Luckily, the secretive chap seemed to get away unnoticed and acted ignorant to what had actually happened. There was an argument the other day, she was assaulted Graham Foster he even dropped Connor in it, saying, has this got anything to do with what happened the other day? There was an argument the other day, she was assaulted. Graham told them that Diane Sugden, Elizabeth Estenson, could identify the man after they saw him punch Debbie. Back at the hospital, Ross apologized to Debbie, explaining why he had a gun in the first place. But as Joe continued to take the blame, Debbie protested and came clean about everything once and for all. She said, I can't do this. You need to know, it wasn't Joe. It was me. I'm sorry Ross, please. I need to explain what happened. Ross stormed out of the room though, leaving Debbie distraught at the storm she had just caused. Emmerdale continues Monday at 7pm on ITV.